Welcome to Awana Kids. Tonight we are going to be speaking from Ephesians chapter number 6. So if you get your Bibles together and get ready, we are going to be reading the first three verses of Ephesians chapter 6. But before we start reading our, the verses, I'd like to announce that uh, this coming Sunday we will be um, sliming Jesse after the 11 o'clock service as well as getting ice cream. So for, I know we had promised you guys a long time ago before this whole pandemic started that we were going to be having an ice cream party and that we were going to be sliming someone. Well, obviously, Jesse is that person we will be sliming. So after the 11 o'clock service, please um, remember to, to tell your parents and, and, and to stay afterwards so we can uh, see Jesse get slimed. That's going to be fun. But to get your ice cream, I know we all love ice cream. And so make sure you stay tuned for that after the 11 o'clock service on Sunday. But if you have your Bibles, turn to um, Ephesians chapter number 6. Starting in verse 1, I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. And the, but the first verse says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and, and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. Back to verse 1, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Now, if you take that verse and you break it down, and I know um, uh, Sparks especially, this may be a little bit harder for you to read or to understand this verse. So I'm going to try and break it down for you. And I know if your parents are there, uh, they can help you with this as well. But the first part, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Well, what does that mean? Well, obviously, we know what it means to obey your parents. That means that when they tell you to do something, that we should do it. And why do we do it? Well, because our parents told us to. But also it says at the end of that, right there, it says, in the Lord. Well, what does it mean to obey someone in the Lord? Well, just like we have um, faith or belief in our parents. Like I have faith in my parents that they're going to tell me to do the right things. So I have faith in them. So when I obey them, I am obeying them in the Lord, just like you have a faith in your parents or belief in your parents that when they tell you to do something that it's going to be true, like your parents tell you something, it's like, oh, I believe in my dad. I believe my dad or my mom. The same goes with the Lord. When you obey your parents, you're obeying God, and you're not just obeying your parents. So, I mean, it goes through every part of life. When you get older and you get a job or or you get older and you go to college maybe, and you listen to your teacher, or you listen to a police officer, or you listen to someone in authority over you, you're obeying them, you're obeying your parents, you're obeying the laws of the, uh, uh, for whatever um, sanction you're, you're part of, and you're also obeying God through all of that. God loves us and our parents love us. And so when we obey our parents, we're obeying God because God tells us right here to obey our parents. And the second part of that verse says, and just a few words, it says, for this is right. Well, what does it mean to be right? Well, we all kind of understand what it means to be right. That means to be correct. When something is right, that means it is done properly. So when you clean your bedroom, your parent says, go clean your bedroom. And you actually clean your room. You don't just hide your stuff. Um, I have three kids, trust me, they love to just hide their stuff underneath their bed, in the closet, underneath the totes that has toys, shove everything out of the way so it appears to be clean. But did they do it right? No, they didn't do it right. But when they put their stuff away, when they fold their clothes, when they actually put their toys away, and they, and they obey when I say clean your room, they actually clean it, they are doing it the right way. And that's what God wants us to do. God wants us to do things the right way, as do our parents. And it's because they love us, they want us to do it the right way. And you say, why does it matter how I do, how I obey? If my parents tell me to throw something in the trash, why does it matter that I do it with a smile on my face and not, why did, what's the difference between me doing it while I'm kicking and screaming, but I still throw it away? Well, one day when you get older, and you grow up and you have kids of your own, or you get a job, or you move out on, on your own, get married, whatever, 
you, you will start to notice that someone that does the right thing with the right attitude can get a better reward. Now, if I go to work and I just do my job and I do nothing else, I do the bare minimum, just barely do my job, is my boss going to be real happy with me? Well, yeah, he's going to pay me, obviously, because I did my job. But if I go over and above, maybe I pick up some trash, maybe I sweep a little bit, maybe I do something that I'm not really supposed to do, but I decide that, you know what, this is, this is the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do to pick up trash. And I go through and I, I clean up a little bit. My boss is going to actually just happen this the other day. My boss came up to me and says, thank you for sweeping up. I know it's, you know, it's just a concrete floor. It's nothing fancy. But you picked up the trash. You swept it up. You picked the rocks off and you threw them out in the, into the driveway. And he was real thankful for it. You know why? Because I did the right thing. Verse 2 says, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. What does it mean to honor your parents? Well, how do you honor someone? Well, I heard it kind of described as honoring someone is doing something that you know is right to do when they're not around. It has to do with your character. And you say, well, what's character? Well, character is basically how you do something. If you do something with the right attitude, that's your character showing through. But it says here, honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. And we, we all wonder, well, what is that promise? Well, that's in verse 3, but we'll get to that in a minute. Verse 2 here, to honor your father and your mother. If your mother and your father are not around, let's say you're at school. I know we don't have school right now, but maybe next fall, when you go to school, honoring your father and your mother is going to be doing the right thing. Which, what's the right thing? Whatever your teacher tells you to do or the principal, or whoever's in charge at that point, when they tell you to do something, that is going to be honoring your parents. That's because, or showing honor is because your parents aren't even there, but you are making them proud when they can't see. Some people don't have parents. Maybe they passed away. Or, you know, in my, for instance, my parents live over a 1,000 miles away in a totally different part of the country, in, in a different state. And so me honoring my parents is doing the right thing, even though they can't see me. And it's because I love my parents. And the same goes for you guys. If you love your parents, which I'd, I know you guys do, if you love your parents, you will do the right thing. You will honor them because you love them. And that goes back to honoring God. If we honor our parents, we are honoring God because God says right here that we should obey our parents, we should honor them. And it says, which is the first commandment with promise? In that, sec that third verse here, I'm going to read it right now. And it says, that it may be well with thee, and that thou must live long on the earth. That's the promise. And you say, what does it even mean that, things may, that it may be well with thee? What does it mean to be well with thee? Well, to be well with you, that means basically to be good. Things are going to go good for you. Maybe not all the time, but you will see good things happen with you. You will have a, what, they, what we say, we have a peace about us. That means we're calm inside. You ever watch maybe a TV show or you see your parents or something, maybe in a kind of a tragic situation, maybe there's a car accident, or maybe you fall off your bike and you get hurt. And one of your parents, I'm going to probably guess your mother, she's going to be the one crying and screaming and, and worried about you because you scraped your knee and you, you're bleeding and all that stuff. And usually it's the dad that comes. He's calm. He's quiet. And he says, all right, what happened? You say, I fell off my bike. And he asks you where it hurts. Or maybe it's your mom. Maybe she's the calm one. And she says, hey, where does it hurt? And you say, oh, it's my knee. Maybe it's my ankle, my hand. And they look at it and they check it out. And they're calm. But probably inside, they're probably pretty worried. But they have a peace about them, knowing that everything's going to be okay. The same with honoring your parents. And when you honor your parents, God is going to bless you in, in the end. When you grow up and you start having kids of your own, God is going to start blessing you through those kids. Um, someone that, that I knew, um, knew of anyways, I didn't know them personally, they... They died um, before I was even born. But he lived a very, very rough uh, lifestyle and did not obey his parents at all. But when he got older, his parents had passed away. He got right with God, and he became a preacher, and he preached for many years. 
And he used to say all the time, he says, I know God is going to end my life early because I was, he said, I was a bad, bad kid. How he treated his parents with so much disrespect and hatred towards his parents, he knew God was going to end his life early. And sure enough, I want to say he was in his mid-50s. Sounds kind of old to a lot of us, but mid-50s when a lot of people are living to almost 80 to 100 years old, 55, 54, it's not that old. And he passed away, and he knew that because how he treated his parents as a young man, he knew God was going to end his life early. And you say, well, what does this all mean? And, I mean, we know of people at young ages that, that pass away. I just remember one of my best friends growing up, his four-year-old son, actually actually two weeks before his fourth birthday, the same age as my son, Leroy, he passed away from, from cancer. And he said, well, how does, that, how does that work? He honored his parents. He was a good boy. Well, his parents watched him go through all that and watched the watched how he honored and obeyed his his mom and dad and they watched that and that was a blessing to them had he been a horrible child even though he was dying of cancer the there would have been a different type of hurt inside but we know of a lot of people i mean my grandparents are one of them they're in their they're in their 80s they're getting older but they honored their parents and god is blessing them through that so just to wrap up the, first, the, the three verses is, Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. God will take care of you if you take care of your parents. If you honor them, if you obey them, God will bless you through it. Now, just, to, just remember, kids, on Sunday, after the 11 o'clock service, we are going to have ice cream, and we are going to slime Jesse. And I know we all want to be there for that, so please be there. I'm going to close in prayer, and we will be done. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day you given to us, Lord, and I pray that you would bless these kids, help them to listen and honor their parents, Lord. And I pray that all we say and do it, I'm going for you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Hope you guys have a good week, and see you this weekend.